All right, there it is. Connect USB, open. Could not open USB device. Okay. What if I unplug it, plug it back in? It should turn on with the lights now. Okay, it doesn't turn on with the lights now. Oh, there, there's the lights. Okay. So now it's properly mapped as a keyboard, except no, not a single key is mapped to anything. Good job, duck. All right, back into bootloader mode. I'm gonna wait until it shows me Mtel device in my device manager. Do you have to use the duck software? No, I, I own a duck, but like all I had to do was, was hold down the key and then flash it. Yes, I have 32 U4 drivers. I can literally flash any other thing on earth. It's just, this is being a bitch. All right, it doesn't show up in device manager, even though it showed up before as an MTEL device, now it's just gone. Let's try, yep, could not open USB device. That's great, that is great. Let's try again. Why is this so cursed? Korean PCBs, in a nutshell. All right, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, and pull it out. All right, are you gonna show up in my device manager now? Nope, you literally are not. It just doesn't show up. Okay, cool. Great fucking PCB, guys. Do I just install the fucking Korean malware? What I don't get is it actually showed up as a MTEL device for like a split second. And then it stopped. Is cable okay? Yeah, the cable's fine. Yeah, it just literally doesn't fucking show up. Okay, we're, we're using the Korean malware. Okay, we're downloading O2D Mapper. Great. The requested file could not be found. Good job, Korea. None of those people would know. Nice monitor, yep. All right, is this gonna work? Wow, the newest update is in 2014. Great fucking software, guys. Great fucking software. All right, I, I got the O2D. There it is. Key tester. Okay, the key tester doesn't work until things are actually mapped. That's lovely. File, new, 
Octagon, Viper, Orion, Lightsaber, Mini, can, okay, cool. It literally doesn't have the firmware anywhere. Oh yeah. It helps when I'm not in bootloader, thank you. Okie dokie. Tools, key tester. Yes, okay. Still doesn't work. We have accomplished nothing. Okay, so the key tester doesn't do anything. TCV3 is in VIA. I would love to flash VIA to it, but I literally can't properly get it into uh, into uh, bootloader. I mean, while we're here, I'll go get the VIA firmware. Can I use VIA? And then download. Ah, sorry, I need to go to like supported devices or whatever. Firmware downloads. Duck. TCV3. Okay, I have the hex now, okay? I have the hex. The issue is I can't properly get it into bootloader. And also I can't close OTD. It just doesn't close. Okay, so unplugging it. This is definitely the bootloader key because when it's held down, it doesn't light up when it boots. Okay, no lights, that's a good thing, right? So I go to device manager, no MTEL device at all. Watch the McMerlin video on YouTube. You watch it. Just tell me what to do. Tell me how to get it into bootloader. That's all I need. There it is, Mtel USB devices. Okay, it is properly showing up. Yes, 32U4, we're good. We are good. Let's go to flip. Open, yes, yes. All right, file, load hex file. Come on, navigate. Navigate faster. Downloads. Duck TCV3. Yes. Run. What did you do differently? Nothing. Verified pass. All right. It says, VIA says searching for devices. Unplug it. Plug it back in. My KFE is not plugged in. Still doesn't find it. All right, let's see if anything's actually mapped. Nope, nothing is mapped. No fucking key works. Nice. What is this PCB called? This is a duck TCV3. All right, so the VIA firmware, did you flash the VIA layout? I flashed the heat, the VIA hex. Listen, everybody that's sitting there trying to backseat, I'm doing all of the correct things in the correct order, in the correct way, okay? So we're going back to fucking bootloader mode. All right, I see the Amtel device. It's there, okay. And it's gone, it's gone. It literally just fucking disappeared. Have I checked this? No, I haven't read the full internet of fucking, I expect the keyboard to fucking work. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm just flashing the normal, uh, the normal QMK hex, by the way. I'm not giving you via. You figure it out. Okay, there we go. I see the device. 
Good. And it's gone. Okay, cool. Let's try again. Okay, there it is. Go into flip. We're going to load hex file, but we're going to do the QMK one. <laughs> 